Oh my god, I'm so nervous but like scared but like deed by this. How to gain a thousand followers in a day. What? Good morning guys, happy Saturday. It is going to be the last weekend in lockdown today and the sun is really... I'm going to find a better setup where the sun isn't like directly in my eyes. So today is Saturday the 9th of October. So I thought I would film my last like lockdown vlog because on monday the 11th everything in sydney starts to open again for double vaccinated people so i'm still going to be on lockdown for a few more days because my second vaccination is until thursday ah oh, honestly there's going to be some things that i miss hey papa hi honey it's free though um, every time I acknowledge her when she's like on her way here, she like decides to ignore me and then when I'm like leave me alone She wants to acknowledge me. Yeah, no, there's gonna definitely be things that I miss about lockdown And I'm a bit anxious for like work in early start starting again and managing everything but like there's also obviously some Exciting things as well like going out and seeing my friends again Anyway, I need to give you guys a few life updates in this vlog that are exciting very exciting this is really random but yesterday i hit 10,000 followers on instagram i know that might sound really lame for it to be exciting but like i've been using instagram consistently since i was 13 or 12 since i was 13 i'm gonna say and my oldest post on my profile is from when i was 13 it's from 2013 and like i've literally people are like how did you grow so fast i'm like it's not fast i've literally been using this app since i was in year eight consistently since 2013 um that's so lame <laughs> i had this reel if you guys saw my last vlog i was telling you about the reel that the algorithm instagram algorithm was like pushing and it wasn't really going up in that vlog but yesterday yesterday on friday so the night before i went to sleep and i had like 9,000. 300 followers i woke up with 9800 followers and i was like what the hell by the end of the night last night i had 10.2k mind blown i actually like i kept going on instagram and refreshing it all day so lame i know but i was just like what the heck i was so shook the instagram reel that was being promoted by the algorithm like thank you algorithm i don't know i just i don't i don't know so I had 10.2k 10 when I went to sleep last night. It's the 9th of October. It's 8.54. And yeah. Wild. Just wild. Wild. I'm not going to look. You guys can look first. Did you see that? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? I literally went to sleep with 10.2k followers. 10.9 I'm so confused what on this planet earth I'm like excited but also like I don't know why this is making me so anxious what the real when I went to sleep last night had like definitely not that many views this one what the hell 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 i'm so shook right now i'm so shook right now shit i have so many dms what the what the hell 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 i'm so shook i don't know what to do my year eight self is screaming i remember in year eight wanting to hit 1k okay i know this is so lame because people have like millions and like hundreds of thousands and i'm like I got 10K. but like the fact that it went up like the last vlog i filmed was saturday last week that was a week ago and i didn't have 9,000 followers yet and then since yesterday i've gained like more than 1,000 followers i don't get it i'm so confused <laughs> Anyway, um, people were DMing, DMing me like, how did you get so many followers in the last week? And I'm like, the Instagram algorithm is pushing a reel of mine. That's literally what it is. But anyway, that was my one of my fun updates. I'll tell you guys the other updates I have throughout this vlog. Something I've always wanted to do, I've been planning on doing for ages, is having a giveaway when I get to 10k followers. I didn't plan for that to be yesterday, but when I got to 10k yesterday, I DM'd seven brands that I've like collabed with. Um, about contributing to the giveaway like gift vouchers or like their product or whatever 
and so far five have responded saying yes the other two haven't responded and i know they're not going to respond till monday now because it's the weekend so exciting and i was hoping to post it on sunday but i have to wait till monday so everyone replies but i'm editing um i'm starting to edit the giveaway post so i'll show you guys that later because i'm it's so cool i'm i'm so excited i'm so shook i'm shooketh as a hooketh i'm so shook okay guys update it's editing me here on wednesday a few days later and this is the freaking progression over the, since the last 24 hours so yesterday less than 24 hours ago yesterday morning i was on 16k followers and it just steadily went up throughout the day i'm just showing you that it's still the 12th of october on all those times that i'm checking and it just crept up and up and I know I'm not vlogging, but I had the same reaction as in this vlog. I was just like, what the hell, like schizen. And this morning, I just checked, like literally five minutes ago, it's not even eight yet, and I hit 20k followers. So I literally went up 4,000 followers in less than 24 hours since yesterday. What? Anyway, I need to shut up. This is going to be such a long vlog if I'm just going to be talking this whole time. So I'm going to go make myself some brekkie and get along with today. Okay, yeah, that's too hot. I'm making my oatmeal and I'm just updating you guys to let you know if you watched my vlog where I did egg oats, don't stress. That phase lasted all of two days. <laughs> I'm back to my protein oats, so I just make my oats and then I mix any of the macro mic protein powders that I've been feeling. Lately, I've been really into the salted caramel one, but I'm going to use the Halloween edition apple crumble today. I feel like this would go with a hint of cinnamon too. Oh my gosh, this is the thickness. Look at that steam. The thickness I desire. Protein oats. I soak them overnight in water so it soaks up all the water. And then I add a little bit of almond milk, microwave it until it's thick with like eight C's. And then I'll add a protein powder and mix it through, which makes it even more thick so it becomes like 10 C's. The thickness that we desire. Protein oats. This was obviously delicious. I have quite a hectic to do list to do. Again, yesterday was kind of insane. I couldn't get to sleep last night because my head was buzzing. You know, when you have so much happening in the day and then you just like can't stop thinking. I have a long to-do list that I'll be going through today. I have a uni lecture. I have studying to do for an exam I have in a few days. Training sessions, working on my ebook, printing and filing stuff. I have three different brands that I need to take photos for. But right now I'm going to, oh my gosh, emails. Yesterday I spent so much time doing emails. It was crazy. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to head out to the train, but before I do, I'm going to open this package that I got sent. So an Instagram brand called Alfie Sporting sent me a bunch of resistance bands, three different ones in different colors, small, medium, and large. This is the small, so it'll be the most resistant. That's what it looks like. Ooh, damn girl. When I get back from training, I'm going to take some photos with these later. And then I also need to take photos with some other products like my Hydrogun. I am going to head out to train. So if you've been watching the lockdown vlogs, you know that I've been walking down to an oval and training there like all throughout lockdown. But it's just so awkward for some distances like 300s and 200s. So the day before yesterday, I drove to my old little A's oval, which is within my LGA. But it was in awful condition. So I trained, but it was the surface, the grass. It was so overgrown. 
I had to like back the pace off to avoid like potholes. The lanes had gone, like there was no lanes, it was just like a field. Um, and yeah, the surface was terrible. So I'm gonna try a different field that I'm just gonna drive to that's in my LGA. And hopefully it's decent, otherwise park it is. Okay, I've just warmed up and I'm swapping my shoes over. I can't believe that I haven't come to this oval at all, this lockdown. The surface is stunning. It's like stall gift vibes. Anyway, on the menu today is Fast 200, so bye. Um... I just did a few run-throughs and then I went on my messages with my coach to read my session and I kind of want to die. <laughs> I read it wrong. I don't have 200s. I have 300s. I actually, I don't know how to feel right now. I'm fast sick. Um, God help me. <laughs> Fried. I'm absolutely fried. It's been a while since a car chat though. I finished with a 2k like cool down jog. Let me tell you, it was a jog, it was not fast. But my heart rate literally got into the 170s. It's also a 30 degree day, so like it's very hot. And okay, wow, I'm sweating in this sauna of a car. Whew. One of the things on my to do list today was to I'm literally drowning in sweat. One of the plans on my to-do list today was to test out one of my ebook ladder workouts. They're fun but tough, but not too long. But I don't know if that's gonna be happening. I'm dead. I'm dead. <sighs> oh my gosh, okay. I'm going to make myself a little BCAA um, in the best flavor. My favorite one is the strawberry lychee. Um, it also has hydrating electrolytes as well as amino acids. I'm gonna sip on this massive thing and do a little bit more studying. And then before lunch, I think I'm gonna just cop testing out that ebook workout. By the way, I purposely have been trying to get this nail stuff off. It actually was really hard to get off the, if you saw my nails vlog, but I'm trying to get it off so I can go get my nails done when I'm double vaccinated. Um, I do want to use this for like toes, but I just want the experience of going in person again, you know. I'm a sweaty mess. Okay, before I jump back into my studying again, I'm gonna have a quick sneaky check of the um, following situation on IG because it went up to 11.1 .1 a few hours ago. It's still on 11.1, .1, but what on earth? Thank you, Alexander. This video is getting creeping up closer to a million, which is just whack, 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 whack. It's so hot. Um, do I expect to be alive after this ebook workout that I'm testing? No. Am I scared? Yes. All right, let's just get this done. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, they're fun, but like, I'm cooked. <laughs> into the e-book <laughs> I'm like so spent right now wow
hell, this is scaring me. <sighs> I'm dead. Making myself some lunch. I've just been snacking on some almonds and frozen peas while I make this. I've been on the tuna and rice grind again because like it's an OG. I literally just have brown rice and peas and corn. And then I microwave that so it like unfreezes because it's like frozen peas and corn. And I'll add in a lime ice cube. Basically, our lime tree gets like a thousand limes at once, so my mum will like juice all the limes and make ice cubes. And then, I serve it again so the lime ice cube defrosts. And then I get a can of yellow fin tuna in spring water. I will drain it into a little bowl for Rio, because she loves the juice. Then I'm gonna put the tuna in with the rice and peas and corn. One can of tuna has 21 grams of protein. I'm gonna stir it all up. Okay, next step, I put in a dollop of hummus. This is everything. And then mix it around again so it's all like creamy with the hummus and the lime. This is literally such an easy and bomb lunch. And it's massive. Like this bowl is the size of my head. Okay, next step is like a ton of baby spinach. Pile it up so it's massive. And then I drizzle some more lime on. So it kind of massages more into the um, to the bowl. But also because lime is a source of vitamin C, which enhances iron absorption in non-heme iron products. So like spinach is a source of non-heme iron. Non-heme iron is um, iron found in plant-based sources and it's way less bioavailable than heme iron so like you could eat heaps of spinach and not really get any of the iron from it so you use enhancers and one of them is vitamin c and you avoid prohibitors just a fun fact um i did do a post on my whole food gram instagram about it so check that out if you are interested anyway i'm just gonna mix this all in and try not let it spill everywhere and then i also add like another dollop of hummus with so it's through the spinach leaves all right, next step is to add some beetroot. It's literally just tinned beetroot. And lucky last, I sprinkle on some chili flakes. And I don't normally do this, but we have some bean sprouts in the fridge. So I'm just gonna chunk some of them on. So it's super yummy. Um, very nutritious, because there's also micronutrients and there's lots of protein. In total, there's more than 30 grams of protein. Just, it's around 30 grams of protein from the tuna. And then there's also a little bit of protein in the hummus and the spinach and the peas and the rice. Like not much, just trace amounts of it, but it all adds up. Okay, I'm gonna eat lunch now and work on the ebook while I eat lunch. I'm crossing things off the to-do list as I get them done. So like endurance session, my week six study notes. I can now cross off ladder three. And oh, I need to start a lecture as well. <sighs> There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by Okay, filling you guys in on the last few hours so I just spent about an hour and a bit watching most of a lecture. Um, it was a nutrition lecture. So some of my units and lectures throughout my degree have been on nutrition and they are all my favorite lectures. And this brings me to the other news that I said I wanted to update you guys on. If you saw my previous vlog where I kind of said I was stressing about um, being able to enroll in certain subjects in order to meet prerequisites to apply for a um, master's um, in dietetics to study being a dietitian, you know that I was worried. <laughs> um, so I was in contact with um, ACU, a uni that um, has my degree as an undergrad that can get into m and which is Masters of Nutrition and Dietetics, um, if you meet certain prerequisites and you have to do those as part of your undergrad degree and there was four subjects they needed me to do and that was like perfect because I have four electives left to do next year but at my uni the four um, 
units that I needed to do have prerequisites and some of them are similar to subjects I've done but not the exact same like they have one symbol different in like the unit code um, and then the other thing was one of them you need chemistry as a prereq and I needed to do them at the same time so I was so anxious and I finally heard back from the unit coordinator I contacted at my uni and they said given your um, exceptional academic record um, like I'm happy to give you an exemption and you can enroll in those subjects so <laughs> I was so excited um, when I got that email the other day I'm so excited I actually <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay I look super washed out because I just put on lots of sunblock because I'm about to go train but uh, um, okay, I just got a reply from the unit coordinator. Let me go get it. Okay, we do gen generally require chemistry and then the unit code as a prerequisite for biochemistry and then the unit code. However, I can see your transcript is exceptional and in your case, I would approve an enrollment exception to allow you to enroll in the chemistry and biochemistry units. Oh! Which means I will be able to be eligible to enroll for a master's in dietetics and become a dietitian. Oh my god, I'm so nervous but like scared but like jeed by this. I'm, what the fuck? I don't know how to, I don't know what to make of this. He said, please be aware there is a significant amount of chemistry that is assumed. So you may be at a slight disadvantage. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go train now and I'm so excited by this that like my extreme doms is like not gonna it's not gonna stop me running well i have that day two doms after a hard workout where when you try and like sit or move your quads are like Aah! like broken um from testing an ebook workout okay anyway <laughs> so that was my reaction and i was just really excited and now i don't know how to feel like because yeah, I just don't know, like, yeah, that's my exciting news. Anyway, so the lecture I was just doing was on nutrition, um, super interesting. And um, I'll finish it after dinner, but I wanted a break. I still have other things to do, so I just spent a while taking photos. My mum was helping me take photos with the Hydrogon, and then I was taking a few photos with my slides that I got sent that are super comfy. Um, because I'm trying to edit the um, giveaway post so I contacted seven brands that I've worked with and that I really loved working with um, well, I don't want to sound all like a YouTuber on Promoti but um, they've been really good to work with not only because I like their product but they're all just like really nice communicating with them um, so so far five have replied so the five that have replied is Baxter Blue Light Glasses Kim Ch Co the jewelry brand that I wear and did a giveaway with recently this is actually a necklace from them it's a little box with an eye on it the cushy slides which is um, slides that I got sent recently and they're just like really soft slides they're like foamy and like feel really comfy and cushy um, so that was three and the other two that replied were Goodness Me Box and oh Hydrogon. So that's the best prize out of it. It's worth the most. The Hydrogon is a couple of hundred dollars. So I'm so excited that they were happy to um, contribute to the giveaway. And then there's two other brands that I'm waiting to hear back from, which is The Udi and Macromike. And Macromike is the brand that I want the most to be in it because it's like the brand I use every single day, like my favorite protein. Um, and yeah, so all of those brands, hopefully all of them will be in the giveaway. So I've been editing kind of a picture to include like all the products. So I'll show you guys so far what it's looking like. It's really rough. I literally just, this is my first like, yeah, I'm so excited. I know I'm like really annoying sharing discount codes with those products all the time. I do want to say I do get a little bit of commission from some of those brands, not all of them. Like some of them, it's just in exchange for the product. Um, and some of them I get like a 10% commission when someone uses my code so that obviously really helps me <laughs> but like it's also just to share a code with you guys to get a discount like I literally would use other people's discount, discount codes from Micromic before I had my own because I go through protein. <laughs> Ow.
ow, 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 ow. This is so cool. Wild that I'm having this 10K giveaway and I might have like more than 2,000, more than 10K by the time I do it. Um, editing me here with literally more than double 10K now at the time I'm recording this and the giveaway still has five days left. What the fuck? Fuck me. This is wild. So, so far, goodness me box have said they're keen. Hydragon, which is amazing, has said they're keen. Backs of blue light glasses. And then these two I'm waiting to on a reply from, so the Udi and Macro Mike. And then I also need to put in a picture with... Um, the slides, but I was taking one just then because I don't like this one. The jewelry. So I was trying to put in this one and cut it out, um, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know if I want this picture or not. But it, it has like the jewelry on in that. Or I was thinking of doing just a picture of actual jewelry, which I might do because I already have too many of me. So I might do that. I'll just wait to see if the Udi is keen or not. Whoa, the zoom. Eek, eek, eek. We don't want that. Now I need to practice. So done with body pump. Pre-lockdown, I had been doing my body pump instructor course, which is like a Les Mills instructor course for like group fitness classes. And the test day has been pushed back so many times because of COVID. And now we've been told it's October 31, which is in like three weeks. And I need to get practicing again. So I'm going to run through. I'm trying to like do a couple tracks a few times every day so that I can pass this course. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that in a little bit. It's my next plan. I'm back. It's been one second and I was replying. I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm shook. What the heck? What the heck? How is this happening? I'm screaming. Year eight me is screaming. This is just cooked. This is cooked. By the time I announce this giveaway, I'm going to have freaking 15,000 followers at this rate. That's scaring me. That's scaring me. Like, do I do something about this? Like, I don't know, do I become like a full time Instagram? <laughs> I'm totally kidding, but what the hell? I'm freaking out. I'm just, what? I don't understand. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel about this. What the fuck? I just remembered to take a thumbnail. I have forgotten to take thumbnails in vlogs for so many vlogs and like. Then I just go through the vlog and find random screenshots and try to like make a nice thumbnail. So I'm remembering to take one right now. I could call this video something about like getting a thousand. Be careful the door doesn't slam on your camera. Yeah, I'll go like this. <laughs> the camera's sitting in the doorway right now. Um, I could title this video something like how to gain a thousand followers in a day. That'd be really clickbaity though because it would just be like, I'm shook, I don't know how. The Instagram algorithm. <laughs> But um, I'll do like a shocked, like, <laughs> clickbaity. <laughs> okay, I'm so lame, I'm going to stop. <laughs> Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow. It's a really really hot day i'm sweating so my drawers my drawers these drawers they are a mess particularly this drawer which has this stuff usually all fits in it and it's pretty full even with that with this pile on the floor um which is piled here because i was trying to find i was trying to find these shorts no not these shorts i was trying to find something this is my like sports bra and sports shorts drawer so it's like ridiculous and i filmed a reel <laughs> in lockdown recently um trying on every single sports bra that i own um there was more than 45 i couldn't fit them all in the reel it was really bad but anyway ever since i filmed that this drawer i've not it's been a mess i've just kind of i shoved everything in after it hasn't closed in a long time so i'm just going to try and sort through that now sorry to be so annoying about macro mic but whatever i got a delivery yesterday it included the limited edition how Halloween stuff. So I said I had that uh, apple crumble, creepy apple crumble um, protein with brekkie. The other limited edition thing that I am going to try that I ordered is a horror comb bar. Honeycomb crunch flavor. All their products are vegan and made with either peanut protein or almond protein. So I have a little Instagram highlight for protein bar reviews. 
I like seeing stuff like that, so I thought it'd be fun to do. And um, I did a little poll at the start of it saying, like, do you guys like this? And it got a good response. Protein bar review time. Let's see what she's like. That smells really good. Do I want to do a boomy or a video? There's like hints of cinnamon. And it's really honeycomby. Mmm, it does have cinnamon in it. I knew it. I wouldn't say these are the most healthy things, these protein bars, but like balance, moderation. There's almond protein, brown rice protein, and pea protein. Brown rice syrup, which is basically sugar. Coconut oil. You guys know I'm not a big fan of coconut oil, but YOLO. I actually really rate this. This tastes really good. What did I rate this? They've done the honeycomb really well. And the cinnamon really complements that. Look at me being all like food critic. This is good. Alright, let's rate it. Honestly, definitely at least a 9 out of 10. But do I want to do 9.5? I kind of do. Oh, I kind of do. I'm going to go 9. I'm just going to go 9 out of 10. That's a really, that's a good score. 9 out of 10 is a good score. And I don't want to be too easy because then it's like hard to... When you get something amazing out of this world, if you've already given too many things a 9 out of 10 or 9.5, there's no like higher rating. Texture. I am a huge fan of chewy, chewy texture. And I know a lot of people aren't though. Like it's very chewy. I think I'm going to... Mm, I like it. I'm going to go 8. 8 out of 10. Okay, let's clean out this drawer. My face stung a little bit in the shower, like it was a bit burnt. Oh, look at my hair, it's not like... Oh, well, no, I don't mind, but just remember that time. <laughs> I was going to tell the vlog about how yesterday, I'm going to tell them, yesterday we were eating dinner and mum just casually goes, so what do you do with a dead cat in the backyard to dad? And I was like, excuse me, what? And then dad was like, because he was trying to not like tell me about it because I was horrified. And dad, dad said he buried it in the cat cemetery. <laughs> Two cats buried now. One was ours and one wasn't. Watch out, Rio. <laughs> That's so... Don't say that. You, you just um, said it. <laughs> you drove me to it. <laughs> I just want to do the egg reveal. The egg reveal. <laughs> and the egg is a girl. Which way do I want? This Not way. Ways. That way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes. Mm. All right. Which side do you want? I think you. Just go with this one. Ah, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna end my vlog now. Mum and I are just going on an after dinner walk because it's still light now that it's daylight savings. <laughs> um, Oops! <laughs> Tomorrow is officially the last day in lockdown and then everything will open up on Monday for double vaccinated people so I have a few more days till I can go out. But yeah, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss some bits of lockdown. Are you gonna miss anything from lockdown? Well, I suppose I'm going to miss some um, time to try new recipes. And getting your 250 steps in the hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and also reading a lot of books. I'm excited for um, some things, but I'm also a bit anxious for other things. But such is life. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Don't suck up to them and say, please, please like it. Just like don't if you don't like it don't like it <laughs> if you don't like it go and subscribe like to someone else's channel <laughs> okay bye say bye mom. bye <laughs> bye peeps <laughs> hi i'm back i know i finished the vlog i feel like i should end the vlog with an update of what we finished the instagram followers on because that's just it's just whack it's just whack 11.5k and the reel has 838,000 views now I'm just genuinely confused because it's not even, it's literally nothing spectacular that I'm doing in it. I'm totally here for it. Bye guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm so annoying. It is the next morning and I'm going to edit this vlog 
joke so I'll probably wait till after my exam to start editing it but anyway this is the last time I'm back and I'm just this Instagram thing is it's wild it's the 10th of October and bro 12.4k the reel now has 1.1 million like I'm so glad and happy and it's so exciting but it's not even that good of a reel like I'm not doing a backflip or something actually like hard. Thank you Instagram algorithm, we love that for me. We love that for me, that's... Yeah! Okay, okay, bye. This vlog is actually done now. Okay, see ya! <laughs>